All right, we're here with Into Mobile. We're here with Marvell, and we're actually taking a look at uh, a brand new uh, Marvell uh, company. Uh, Kenoma was just uh, recently acquired, and uh, we're taking a look at Kenoma Play, which is a software applications uh, platform that lives on top of Android, Windows Phone, uh, uh, what have you, and actually uh, speeds up uh, application speeds and is uh, optimized for power. But Enough for me. I'll let uh, I'll, I'll I'll let the I'll let the brains behind Kenoma Play uh, describe Kenoma. Sure. So I'm going to show you a demonstration of Kenoma Play. It's built on the Kenoma platform, and it really lets you build very deeply integrated, very high performance applications. So let's take a look. We're running here on a, uh, a Nexus One. So I'll take you through the photo application first. You can see, even though I have about 800 photos on this card, um, I can scroll through them really nice and smooth. I can come in, I can uh, open up a picture, and with just a single finger, I can zoom in. I can yeah, and that the, loaded up in full res really fast. Yeah, real full res, so it's five megapixels, which is exactly what the camera takes. Loads up and in under a second. And scrolling is really fast. Yep. It's, that's... And so again, this is something we bring to any application. So any app can achieve this performance when building on top of Kenoma Play. We also have nice things like single finger to rotate, so I can uh -huh. get a look at that gingerbread man. We have um, share to any application that's there as well. Come back out here. And, and how are you guys able to get that kind of speed and performance out of these apps? So the application framework has been very carefully optimized. Uh -huh. So we spend a lot of time squeezing every cycle out of that, really looking at what's going on and coming into the operating system at a very low level. So really floating on top of the kernel instead of um, all the application frameworks that are built into the phone. So by getting rid of all those frameworks, you're kind of getting rid of all those bottlenecks that, that slow down apps. Exactly, exactly. And so Not to mention battery life. Exactly. And so we get really nice battery performance out of this. So you can see, again, here is an album flow viewer. So you get great performance. Yeah, and the design really on this is really rolling. nice. So, for example, when I open up this album cover, it takes over the whole screen so I know exactly where I'm going. And when I choose a song, that then settles into place. I can adjust the volume with a gesture. I can tap through here. Now, something that's sort of fun is I rotate this around. You see, we'll do an animation on the rotate. And that's uh -huh. something Kenoma adds as well. When I come back, everything in Kenoma Play is rotated. So now I can flow this way and everything comes through. Now when I come back to my home screen, you notice even the home screen works yeah, in the rotated yeah, orientation, right. so you never have to leave. And so I can come here, for example, I can add a third page to my home screen, I can pick something up and move it here. And then when I rotate back, you see the page breaks remain all in the same uh -huh. place. Right, so really simple. You also notice I started a song by The Cure playing. It's now come into this now playing icon. So every song that's playing from any application will appear now playing, so I always know how to video, get back there. Right? Or even video. So I know how to get back here and stop it, okay? So let's come back, and so I'm listening to the song. Maybe I want to know more about it. If I just hit the search button, we jump over to something we call Dashboard. And this is a, has a now playing feature that is going to go out and over my network ask every application I've installed on the phone, what do you know about this song, okay? Uh -huh. And Last FM, for example, comes in and says, let me tell you about The Cure, okay? And it brings in a biography of The Cure, it brings in photos, it brings in a list of their albums and related artists. And I can keep exploring those things right on down through the interface. I can come in here and I can say, oh, here's Wikipedia. And in Wikipedia, I want to see, oh, you know, what is it about The Cure I want to find out? And I can come in and we have our own Wikipedia app. And you can see it loads up that fast. Of course, I got a film about The Cure, not the band, but so be it. <laughs> I can get pictures of the band. I can also get... Lyrics, what are oh, they wow. talking about from uh, Lyrics Fly? So I don't have to worry about what they're mumbling about. I can come in, I can find videos on YouTube. So let me uh, let me open up one of those. And so you can see here's YouTube. and now That's loading YouTube really app. fast, that's all real time. Yep, and these, are apps, these apps are really being loaded as fast as I'm tapping on them. And so you can see even just the loading of applications is incredibly quick. YouTube plays inline, right? And so you can say, come down here, I can check out related videos and comments. I can add this to one of my playlists. If I say save, it's going to give me a choice. I can say add that to my music playlist on YouTube. You can see it's a little washed out. I can also bring up contrast and brightness controls, and I can adjust contrast and brightness oh, wow. on YouTube in real time. And now the nicest thing is I can come back, and so I don't even lose my place. And you can see also down here on Live 365, I have radio stations that play music like The Cure, so if I'm looking for something new. And then if I want to customize this, I can do that too. I can come up here and say edit, and this shows me all the different apps that appear here. Right. So if I want to move, for example, lyrics up to the top, 
Oh um, yeah, nice and there, smooth right? too. Yeah. I turn off Last FM, move these things around, and boom. Then I completely control the order. Any new app that I install that knows about music adds itself here. So again, very simple. Same idea applies to search, right? So I did a search. Let's do a search for Kinoma today. I'll type in Kinoma. And so this is going to search. Instead of going to one site, it's going to search across every application on my phone in parallel. And so you can see it found information in Kinoma about a bunch of different places, right? And so then quickly I can scroll through this. I can do the same thing for news. This is everything that's new on my phone, right? So I can say, okay, what's in my calendar? Up oh, today's Valentine's Day. So as this new information is updating itself, it'll update yep. right on this dashboard. Comes in in real time in this dash, and then anything here I can dive into. So I can say, okay, up. Oh, Apple's up today. Let's go in and take a look at the chart, right? Um, and these are all linking me to the app. So, you know, if I see one of my favorite tweets up here, I've turned off Twitter earlier, so let's turn that back on. So you see Twitter will come in and update. You know, if I wanted to reply to Guy Kawasaki, I would just come in here and hit that. And in real time, those buttons would update. So the dashboard is linking to each application in real time, mm -hmm. right? And so the user gets a really quick view, and we're going to update this to support more and more apps. So you'll get your SMS in here, you'll get your email in here. And so this really becomes a single view all the way through everything on your phone. A quick look at what we're doing. We're, we're really trying to bring beautiful applications to a wide range of devices, great performance, and we want to bring surprising integration to those so that it's not just a bunch of application silos, but you're really getting a suite of applications that works together that cooperates to give you the kind of user experience you expect from your phone. With obviously a real big emphasis on performance and uh, optimization, battery optimization. Absolutely, because stuff. a great idea without great performance is not interesting. Most definitely. Well, thanks for your time. That's a quick little look at Kenoma Play, uh, uh, one of Kenoma's uh, new uh, application platforms.